quickly and let's check in with the smooth sailing KRQE News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez who has this morning's news headlines. Hi Elizabeth. Good morning. Good morning ladies. Happy Good Friday to you. Happy Good Friday. And happy Good Friday to you at home. We begin this morning talking about a lengthy report following the Sheriff's Department of last month's fatal crash involving APD Sergeant Adam Casals. Well it does little to support his cause. Casaus was charged with vehicular homicide this week, but not arrested. You see, back on February 10th, Casaus sped through a red light in a police unit, crashing into a Honda, killing 21-year-old Ashley Browder and injuring her sister. A 145-page report shows investigators found no proof to support Casaus's claim that he was pursuing a possible drunk driver. Actually, witnesses did not see any vehicles in front of him. Casaus never called dispatch to report that he was looking for a dangerous driver. The report findings undercut Casaus's repeated claim that he had his siren and emergency lights on. And the block, black box in the police unit clocks Casaus's speed at 65 miles an hour, which was over the posted speed limit in that area. Still, Casaus does not meet the threshold for an arrest. We also have someone who is of reasonable age who has never violated the law previously. And we know that this didn't involve any kind of alcohol or drugs in the behavior. So the threat to public safety isn't something that we're concerned about. The DA and BCSO insist they did not handle Casals' cases case differently than any other. And in a new twist in a murder case against a former Albuquerque police officer that we know of, Levi Chavez is accused of killing his wife Tara in their home in Los Lunas back in 2007, then making it look like a suicide. Well, investigators say he did it because she was about to turn him in for insurance fraud. Well, now some of her friends and relatives were set to testify at a hearing yesterday saying that Tara had warned them if anything had happened to her, Levi did it. But the judge did not allow them to testify, saying it was too early for that. They're not going to be ready to be discussed until much closer to trial. The judge uh, thought it best that uh, we wait until trial. Uh, he doesn't want any of the potential jurors to, be, uh, to hear any of the evidence up front. Levi Chavez is supposed to go on trial June 11th. A bill to protect you from identity theft has passed the legislature two years in a row. It's the same bill the governor says she'll now veto for the second year in a row. Supporters of it say it'll help people such as Raymond Romero, who was wrongly accused of robbing a Hobby Lobby. The charges against him were dropped, but that doesn't always show online. I apply for a job and they say, oh, well, here's your felony record. And I'm like, well, I have a letter saying that I wasn't me, but it is an unfortunate situation for this young man. The bill would completely clear Romero's name and others who have had their identity stolen. But the governor says that it could also clear the records of real criminals, which is why she says she won't sign it. Albuquerque Mayor R.J. Berry and the City Finance Division will unveil the city's budget for 2014 this morning. The mayor's budget saves taxpayer money as well as does not raise taxes and includes a raise and hiring plan for the more than 150 already vacant positions that are coming in the coming months. Now we will have more on the budget plan from the city later on on KRQE News 13. And that wraps it up for your Friday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Kristen and myself every weekday morning on KRQE News 13 beginning at 4.30 a.m. Lady's going to send it back to you. Have a wonderful Friday, fabulous holiday weekend. Thank you. You, you too. too. Enjoy it. Lots to celebrate you. for you, Elizabeth. Yes. Yes. Enjoy it. Every minute That's for of sure. it. Thank you. <laughs> okay.